how to care for your TF2 YouTuber. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to care for your TF2 YouTuber. I'm doing this as I've noticed some of you not being too nice to them. Now you may be wondering why I, over the giant tree, I'm qualified to talk about this, hmm? Well, I'm not. I'm not exactly a TF tuber, and I've just been a part of this community for years, back when Star played TF2, so I've been here quite a while. I really immersed myself in the community when I decided to start making videos on TF2 way back in 2014. So, I've, I've been here a while. I've seen creators come and go, and originally, I was annoyed that when people like Now Z, Muse, and Star stopped making TF2 videos. That was the content I came for, after all. However, a lot of this time, we forget that YouTubers are actual people and that there is a person behind their online persona. Sometimes a YouTuber has to take a break from the content they've been producing so they don't burn out or begin not liking the content they produce. If a YouTuber burns out, then that can have massive repercussions on their mental health and cause the, their health to deteriorate because they just want to entertain their fans. I understand when a YouTuber doesn't want to doesn't make a video you on 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 a topic you like. It can be a tad frustrating. I do understand that. I've been there myself. But you don't have to watch the video. It's that simple. Not only do you have the option not to watch it if you don't want to, or doesn't interest you, but the YouTuber will have had videos that you do like and you do and you can watch and you can go back and watch them. However, from a YouTuber standpoint, this can be quite disheartening as if it is a dead job especially and they're getting less views on a video they thought that they had fun producing. It, it can can dishearten them from making videos they like and just sticking to a formula. Why am I focusing on TF2 YouTubers though? Surely any content creator will feel the effects of burnout. Well yes, they will, but I feel it's most prevalent within the TF2 community. Team Fortress as it stands has not received a major update for a long time, and so with the lack of new content comes a lack of new and exciting things to do in the game. This makes it easier to feel bored when playing the game as you feel like you're repeating the same things over and over. This makes burnout a very possible outcome. Now, I'm aware many TF2B gamers do not like Fortnite, but Fortnite is a great example as to why constant updates keep the YouTube scene fresh. There are also many other games like Minecraft and stuff that get constant updates as well, but Fortnite I think is the best allegory as they are both free to play games. So take Fortnite as an example. This game is getting constant updates, it's almost weekly. Not to mention they get a huge season update every few months to keep the game fresh and interesting, changing the dynamics of the game, maybe the map you can play on, adding new points of interest and weapons and stuff. This makes being a Fortnite YouTuber much easier and more lucrative than being a TF2 YouTuber. However, because of the oversaturation of Fortnite content creators, it can be harder to get your name out there. But God forbid a TF2 YouTuber makes a non-TF2 video or so they face the scorn of the TF2 community. Now I'm not saying the entire community is like this, as it seems to be a vocal minority. Immediately, two YouTubers come to mind, RT Game and Muzelk, two highly successful YouTubers who used to make TF2 content. Muzelk is kind of a meme in the community now, as he left TF2 for Overwatch and then from Overwatch to Fortnite, as the tale goes. Sometimes he'll still play TF2 on his second channel, and it, it's still Muzelk playing TF2. If, if that's what you like Muzelk for, it's still there. But Muzelk did what was best for his channel, which was his livelihood. While TF2 and Overwatch helped him break 1 million, Fortnite has definitely propelled him past 8 million and really boosted his see his presence on the YouTube scene. However, RT Game has completely burned the bridge between him and TF2 because of the community. RT stopped making TF2 videos a year ago, and the TF2 community did not take this well harassing him constantly to make TF2 videos. However, due to this reaction, and the way the community reacted to him changing and taking his channel in a different direction that he enjoyed more, he decided to quit TF2. At the time he really loved the game and it was a hard choice for him to make, but he just quit, quit the, the TF2 because the community was so toxic. Never to make a video on it again. Now I know 
how many people go on about how Fortnite has a toxic community, how certain video games will have a toxic community, but no one really talks on the toxicity of the TF2 community. And especially with all the TF2 YouTubers who, yeah, admittedly they are quite small in terms of big channels, that they're playing a game they love and I it, it doesn't get updates, it's hard, it can be hard to continue making videos on a game you love that just isn't adding new content. I understand that. You've got to realise that the TF2 community and parts of the TF2 reddit, the subreddit, are just t so toxic. Content creators like making content for their fans but they've also got to enjoy making, liking the content they produce or there's no point to doing it. If, if you don't like the content you're making then in my opinion you're doing YouTube wrong because part of YouTube is that video creation process. I can understand getting an editor if you're not good at editing or you just need someone to help edit especially if it's your full-time job but you've got to enjoy what you're making for it to be like for it to be a good outcome for you and to positively impact you I guess. So this is where my problem lies within this community. Should a creator dare make enough a video, say they play another game, then they best be ready for pitchforks and tortures. I know people fear that if creators move away from TF2 then less new players will join the game and thus it will stagnate. But you have to understand that if creators burn out, they won't want to play the game until they feel better and therefore the content will suffer because of it. Just as many people won't play TF2 if they don't see it as if they see a bad video on it. They think, oh, this game is kind of shit because th this creator doesn't care. But if they've just burnt out, they can't really bring themselves to care for the game because that's all they've been playing for so long. So please, this is my plea to you, just a small creator making videos he enjoys. If a creator wants to play a different video game or make a different type of video, don't attack them. Because you just want them to, you'll just make them want to play TF2 less and less. I know this isn't as big as a problem as it was, but there's still, with the size of these popular TF2 channels, the vocal minority appear bigger. If it was a, like a 1 million subscriber channel, they would appear much smaller, but because they're vocal and they're part of a smaller community, they have a bigger impact on that community. This does apply to other content creators too, but I use TF2 as an allegory as that is where I'm most knowledgeable and I feel like this shows the most. If a creator is burning out then he's going to want to make different content and that is okay. Just don't harass them or they're going to do what RT Game did and leave the game for good. I've been over the giant tree, thank you for listening and good night. Been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.